Hi Pisces, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. These are going to be very different readings, so I hope that you guys like them. It's a new layout that I've been thinking of doing on the channel, so hope you guys are into it. This is of course for Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with the Pisces and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you in your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. So these are the typical like uh, Celtic cross, but I'm gonna do them a little bit differently. I've just been seeing that they're a little bit more helpful when I do my readings for, for my personal peeps. So that's what we're gonna dive into. Hopefully you guys will get something good out of this, okay? All right, Pisces. Boom. Okay, let's see what's going on for you. So the overall, what you guys might be dealing with right now is confusion, right? So you've got the two of swords coming out. So we're gonna dive into what's going on there. You have got, okay. Okay, this is interesting. Let me just flip. Okay. So there's some type of communication that's happened recently and it's making you feel very confused. It's just because of your chemical programming because there could have been a situation where Pisces, you reached out to someone, okay? I'm gonna stick with it. This is you anyway, that first card is you and then what's hanging over your head. There was some type of communication that happened where um, maybe someone here felt a bit like it felt like a bit of a battle with the Knight of Swords, but the communication happened very quickly. Like maybe there was this offer that happened and Pisces, what might have been happening is you have this love for someone, you know, this is you like, but this is the kind of, um, don't get offended by this, but this is kind of the part of your psyche that hasn't quite developed past a certain age of development. So there's a part of you this still acts like a bit immature in the way that you express your emotions. So what you do is you could be in this pattern where behind underneath the surface, you have love for someone and you're wanting to communicate it with, but you feel vulnerable. So the way that you express it, and this is how it comes out is that instead you might do something like say something defensive or you block it in some way, shape or form. You're not totally showing someone how you truly feel. And so because of that, someone might have felt attacked or something and vice versa, however this communication took place. But you might have come out like even though underneath the surface, you're like, but I have all this love for someone, but you might not see how it could have come across. You might have said something a bit brash or cold or, you know, the way you communicated was totally different than what you're seeing. So that's, let's dive into that. And so that's why you're feeling a bit confused because it's showing this double aspect of yourself, like where you're, you're not seeing that even though this is how you felt, it's not quite how it came across or how it was communicated. So this is why someone here in the connection probably walked away with the eight of cups. Someone was like, okay, felt really maybe sad or brokenhearted by the way something came out. And that's probably why you're feeling confused because you're like, but I have all this love for someone, like why are they walking away? And it could be a part of a dynamic that you're in where you like in a part of your, your love or your emotions is that you're kind of hoping that someone will chase after you and kind of prove that they want to be with you. So with the King of Swords, that's why, I mean, this is a really big energy shift. This is finding, there is gonna be some more communication I feel like that will happen, but it will become a bit more mature. Maybe what happens, Pisces, is that um, when someone gets triggered, it calms you down a bit. And then it, at least this is like the advice or the recommendation for you to be more observant and clear about how you're coming across. That's the shift that's going to take place. Okay. So let's grab this. Yeah. So 
Someone walked away here in the connection, could be you or the other person, and this is why. So you guys could be with the Devil card and the Seven of Cups. You could be placed with some choices and you're trying to walk away, like you, you feel kind of chemically addicted to someone and that could be a part of this confusion, this confliction that's within you. It's a chemical pattern that you have within yourself where you're wanting stability. It's like you're kind of outside of yourself just a little bit because you're looking for commitment and security, but you could have part of the thing you might be walking away from Pisces is someone that wanted to keep their options open. And that's probably the thing, that, the thing that's really disappointing you is because you're feeling like they're tied from giving you a real commitment or like, you know, a grounded, stable, like here I am, let's be together for good. And so because of it, you're, you go through this chemical addiction and it's tied back to your parents in the way they had like a push pull relationship either within both of them or with you. So you're just chemically playing that out again. And so what happens is you, you're in a bit of this shame cycle because once you kind of catch a glimpse and you get this mature clarity into how you came across or how you communicated, then you start to sometimes beat yourself up. And that's the part of awareness that you need to have an observation on because you're going through those highs and lows, the roller coaster of the relationship. And it's making you continuously go back to something and, and, it's not even so much about like the other person, oh, they're terrible for keeping their options open. Part of the reason they're keeping their options open, Pisces, is because they don't totally know how to handle the way that you come across to them. That they're really conflicted by like, they almost want to be with you. And I'm not saying this for you guys to beat yourself up or regret how you're acting. It's just about growing from that and evolving from that way of maybe handling communication or situations in that way. In your fear position, so yeah, let me talk about the Two of Pentacles really quickly because the Two of Pentacles, this is that in and out. So you got Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, this is that confusion and that back and forth energy juggling different options. So because in your fear, you have the Six of Cups. So you're, part of your fear is that you're truly afraid to let go of the past and move forward toward the future. That's why you're like, still going back to something that might still dissatisfy you. And then you go through this cycle of, you know, being upset that this person wants to keep their options open, but it could be because you're still balancing between the past and the future energetically. You're going back and forth between both. So this is why that person doesn't totally want to commit is because they're seeing a little bit of confliction in you. Again, this could be vice versa. So take it however it applies. But here we've got right now the three of swords. So probably how you see yourself right now is a little bit broken hearted, right? You've got the confusion right there. So that's why you're, you're debating between walking away from a situation that continues a cycle of heartbreak because it usually turns into this miscommunication, this misaligned vibrations when within both of you. And then there's like the lack of authenticity, the lack of vulnerability. So when that pulls in, then both of you put your guard up and then Pisces, maybe you start to become more emotionally and reach out even more. But by that time, that person is closed off and then you're feeling really disappointed and like it was a failure and then you're walking away again because, but you're, when you walk away, you start to get all nostalgic and think about the good times with this person. And then it pulls you right back into the dynamic. That's the devil card. Okay. So in your mind, we've got the strength card. This is about making friends with your fears. So that's pretty much what you're going through right now. You're working on alchemizing a really core foundational vibration of yourself. Let me pull some clarifiers on the mind. Yeah, so this is back to your family because you've got the Ten of Pentacles here with the justice and this is a karmic cycle that you're going through of some type of manipulation. And that could have been what you dealt with as a child. And that's why in your subconscious mind, this is a part of the pattern. You probably could have been dealing with someone that, you know, kind of 
had control over you in some way, shape or form, or made you think that they were bigger or smarter or wiser than you and you were just small. So that's a part of the karmic pattern that you're going to, you're relying on someone else for strength. And that's a part of the codependency pattern. So let's pull your outcome card. Yeah. Look how perfect that is. There's the six of wands, you moving forward. And as you move forward, this has been a really long battle for you, but as you do it, you're going to feel very victorious. So that's the positive thing is you are going to be coming out of this cycle very victoriously and it will come from you moving forward. Look at the opposites here with the six of cups, the nostalgia continuously going back to the past and then your final outcome where you will find your victory is in moving forward. Okay, my loves. So I'm not going to do extended on these. I'm just um, putting these out for general and seeing if people resonate with them. So I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. I hope you guys got something useful from this. And with that being said, I'm sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.